With the recent announcement of Control 2, I couldn't be more excited and also scratch my head that more people weren't as excited as I was. I needed to take a little break from Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and I thought to myself, why don't I just play Control and show everyone what this game's all about? Let's spread some love to a criminally underrated game and hop into Control Part 1. This is Josh Robinson and Joystick Gamer, and let's go. I'm really excited for this. This is going to be a great time. There's going to be, I mean, Remedy is always known for their storytelling, so I'm super excited for that. And super excited for everyone to see it. I'm hoping this is one of those moments that just inspires you. I was going to say motivates. Inspires you to maybe go out your comfort zone. Go play a game that you might not have normally played. Um, one thing I, I'll give this, making this channel credit, um, more than, I mean, there's plenty of things I, I love about this channel, but one thing I love most is that it's opened my horizon to so many different games that I didn't realize I would like. And... I love that. So I encourage you to maybe try something different. Start with something in a different genre that is highly acclaimed. Start with something that is might not be up your alley, but all the reviews, all the public is in love with it. That way, that way you can start off with something promising and not get discouraged uh, because you play one game that's different from the style that you're used to. And the next thing you know, you're like, I hate this genre. Like roguelites for me, I was terrified of them. I was like, why do I want to die over and over and play the same game over and over until you get better at it? Um, which I guess is most games you just die until you get better at it. But you know what I'm saying. And I played Hades and I was like, oh my God, I actually love roguelikes because of that. And it adds this dimension of getting better and getting more familiar with the game. And it's meant to be a struggle at first because you do get stronger as the game goes on. And then I fell in love with Returnal. And next thing I know, I love roguelites. Uh, I picked up Midnight Suns for a review, which is coming soon. And I love deck building games because of, I've, re I've realized I love deck building games because of Midnight Suns. And so that'll be an awesome video. I'm so looking forward to that video. Um, but yeah, I just encourage you to mix it up play a game that you're not normally used to playing that's not in your genre of expertise or your preference and you'll be surprised how many great games there really are out there there's so many times where it's like there's no good games there's no games there's no games there's no games and there's a lot of games new games come out every week and yeah some are from small studios and some aren't advertised and some aren't marketed to the levels of god of war but there are amazing games out there. You just gotta do a little bit of digging. And not even digging, it's just go on Google and type in a genre that you might be interested in. Or just go through the list of like the 100 top rated games of all time. And just start seeing what games you're like, oh, that made like top 25 and I've never heard of it. Or, oh, it made top 10 and I just never touched it. Or whatever the case is, go check it out. Just give yourself the chance to fall in love with the new genre, and I promise you, you will. All right, that is my monologue. New game time. We're doing it. Let's get it. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. All right. We called Jesse. I know I shut you out sometimes. Is this a monologue? Inner I'm monologue? I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We that stare at it and we think Europe that's the control. whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. Shawshank? 
The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie, something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. Oh. I'm here. What a good opening monologue. Why did you bring me here? That's so true. Like, the comfort of your own home or Hello? the comfort of your own reality. Anyone here? And then the second those comforts get shed and reality hits, it can be a little scary. And some people just, yeah, it's like I kind of like putting your head in the sand. Oh, that was so good. Such a good opening monologue. Well, I need to adjust my audio real quick. All right, here we go. Oops. Pressed X like I'm playing PlayStation. That was kind of creepy. I didn't really see her arm like open the door. So she's just like, or did she just open it with her mind? Or I guess I forget that there's things called, oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. There's these things called automatic doors, which you know, those would kind of like do something, right? Kind of creepy. This seal, I saw it a long time ago. I keep the bureau seeing seal? it in my dreams. Well, let's. Let's see if we can make those dreams a reality. All right, thank God. I was about to be like, who clogged the toilet? I was about to report whoever clogged the toilet to HR. Yes, I will be a Karen. Call me crazy, Federal but Bureau of Control. If, if you All clog a toilet. Years, I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. If you clog a toilet at your job, at your office, and you don't fix it or get a chance, get, if you don't do anything about it and just leave it, you deserve to get reported to HR. Deserve it. Call me a Karen, I will stand on that hill. If you clog a toilet at the office and then don't do anything about it, you're a dick. And I'm using dick in a gender neutral Girls and guys can both be dicks. <laughs> could you? This would. So this is actually like kind of eerie. Like, could you imagine walking into a federal government building, and it clearly looking like people have been here, should be here maybe want to be here and it is creepy janet yeah we're oh i just got like chills hello why is hey excuse me i don't want to spook him i'm spooked buddy there we go there you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. 
You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, neither you can hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you malot. What? I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Yeah, I don't. I don't necessarily think like. I mean, obviously he might be a little off his rocker, but it's just like once again so creepy that it's so quiet and so dark and so dead, and the janitor is just like do 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 la da 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 da. All right, take the elevator. Oh, they really do want us like working. The Dude, we are the and the poster. I was eleven years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Of course. I can't help but this is all that this is all gonna be a little social commentary on like government control of us and things like that. Or is it something greater? Bum bum bum. There's only one way to find out. Print show moving rooms. Control. Oh, that's such a sick transition. Could that I was a sick transition. A you know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Oh. So, are we here for our brother? Is our brother dead? Okay, can't do that. All right. Now it's starting to look like some stuff's gone down. <sighs> do we have to? I mean, yeah, we have to. It's like, I don't really want to look. If... Shit. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. Oh my god. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Oh my gosh. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Only the director can bind the service weapon. This is your ritual. You must choose to be the chosen one. this place. Where am I? Follow the board's instructions to complete the astral plane challenge. Where 
are we? So this is going to be way more of a psychological, like psychedelic, not psychedelic, but much more of a psychological thriller. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I almost, almost didn't make it. <laughs> Alright, wise melee. Alright, so this is gonna be true. You know what? I'm glad they incorporate a little bit of the same gun. The combat um, tutorial into like the actual story. <laughs> that is a sick gun though. Okay. Now I have a gun. I can't, uh, I was like, I can't make that jump. The service weapon regenerates ammunition automatically. Okay, cool. This is a fancy little gun. Oh, I mean better. Is there a dodge button? No, there's not. Okay. Oh, that's a strong one. Okay. Is there not a dodge? No, B doesn't dodge, okay. What do we have here? You wield the gun, AKA you. The board appoints you. Congratulations, director. Oh, I've always wanted the title of director. This threat. Did you hear that? So the guy that just killed himself it's the dead man. just told right us what our job the pyramid is. pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You For know real. What? It's like breathing. I'm happy. Happy to be here. Things have quieted down outside. Happy to be here. Safe to go. You, you just heard a dude blow his brains out. You got transported to an, another dimension. Understood something in a completely different language, and now you're wielding a gun that is pulsing like it is literally have like it has lungs. Like that literally looks like it's breathing with like lungs. And you said, I quote, I'm happy to be here. She is built different. I, I'll just leave it at that. She is built different. Whoa. What the? Wait, is this the same? Okay, so it is the same, same room we were in, but way different. Still kind of real. Oh, Josh. I am just like, what is, what are these like lights? Is that just like their. Fragments or something? I don't even know. I'm just so enthralled. Okay. 
proceed further into the bureau. Okay. Guidance. Breach the hotline. I can't use. How do I use cover? I, I just want to use cover. Okay, I guess mean, I, I don't. Oh, right click. Okay, right click is. Oh, aim. Use your thumbs. Use your thumbs. That's what joysticks, thumbsticks are for. They're called thumbsticks. You can use your thumbs to put it to work. Okay, so you can't duck. Wow. Whoa. Wait a minute. I wonder if this place made like a uh, list of like best places to work in 2022. They're like, you can just float and not have to do your job. It's great. Shelter. Just a massive freaking vault. Okay. This is kind of. This is creepy. This is creepy. No, oh, energy boost. I was like, what was in there? Okay. Alright. That was just supplies. Wait, does this like close us in here? Oh, God. I wonder if that opens anything else does it now let us go in this door nope okay just a safety shelter i feel like that's gonna come in handy at some point oh it's all that like white noise talking too that's just like eerie Central the hissing executive. sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. I love that we are her uh, consciousness. It burrows in like At least I think we are. Melody that makes you hum it over and over. I don't want to get DMCA. I don't know if that was like a legitimate song. What? I mean, I know this is the pyramid we saw, but. Oh, recharge faster. Guys, a bolt sponge. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Release the clip. I think we got him. I think we got him. We got him. Oh, there's one more. Oh, God. Must cleanse control points. Must cleanse control control points. Cleanse the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Let's find out. I love what she's asking us and our, our way of fixing it is just holding X. Oh my gosh. Getting into some like Doctor Strange room you shift and stuff. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you with us? With the bureau? Are you still sane? Um, I don't know. Are we? I mean, we are with the bureau now because we picked up that gun, and the gun's like you're the chosen one. So yeah, Please. we're with the bureau. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Yes. Jesse Faden. Nope. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. 
Oh shit! You're the new director. Hold on, we're coming out. So they knew right away. Like, were we chosen to be the director before we got here, or was it truly like us showing up? I mean, I have so many questions director. that we'll get Fade. answers for. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss <laughs> managed to infiltrate the building without the any... The hiss. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Yeah, Trench under is dead. Understandable. Shot. I think they know uh, that. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service yeah. weapon. Also... And this can sound crazy. But he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... I can't uh, even... Look, Jesse... Oh, we can't even in a video game. questions, and you probably have a million more. Yeah. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> Not yet. Do we know her brother Dylan? But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. Oh, I'm loving I'm this inner monologue. You, of course. We can try it together. 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 Okay. You with me? Um, we did it before. Push the hiss out. My way too obvious. I guess this may might not be obvious, but my way too obvious prediction is that her brother's behind this because his br her brother start all this in order to get her in here. That's my guess. Pure guess, pure speculation. But I love to speculate. So, oh God. <clears throat> She's like, <laughs> this is what corporate means by work-life balance. You need to break your back over this job. <laughs> oh my God, for a second, I thought she was just gonna like grab her and pick her. She's like, you're supposed to go this way. Did we just kill somebody? Wait. It didn't work. What? This has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. So we just... Oh. We just casually killed somebody. We need to make a plan, Jesse. Uh, we need to think about a lot of things because you're... I can't you're... cleanse them. I saw. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. So Jess. calmly, just like, I saw you kill a woman. It's okay. We, we've got a I'm lot of problems on our hands. <laughs> it happens. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. 
maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My All boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. Sweet. That's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. AKA, we might have to shoot somebody. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. It always cracks me up with that. Why am like, I here? In shows like, I'm not a leader, and they know. proceed to lead everything. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. <laughs> right. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. This is so suspenseful. I love it. Like, I just have, want to ask so many questions, but I don't even know where to start. Like, I don't even know what questions to ask other than just, like, what? Like, what is going on? So I assume that's the phone we need. That's the hotline. I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. All right, let's do it. So we can go up. In the in the lobby, I guess we just okay. Might get a little lost. Nope. I always collect the stuff, just might as well. Okay, so I think we gotta go down. No. This map is like helpful, but also mildly confusing because I don't know what's what with like the, okay. So that is a passage, but we cannot get through it yet. How the heck? She 
said by the... Okay, so we can't do that. As I suspected, this room is closed off. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Enter the communications department. So we just don't even know. Okay. It is not labeled, so we got to figure it out. Though I think it's telling... Yeah. Oh my gosh, Josh. What are you doing, kid? Look at those arrows. Just a fat arrow saying, Hey, hey, idiot. The communications department is this way. All right, well, thank you. There oh, again. God. A welcome message. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay, so we got some security guards. Let's make sure we grab some items. A weapon mod. Oh, get shot at. Aim, Josh. Come on, come on. I swear, sometimes I just like shoot the gun in hopes that like they basically get in the way of my bullets. All right, so I assume we just keep going towards the where the voices. Ow! 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 Yes, it's overpowering here. All right, so we don't go that way. With you on that. Trying to go for the two tap and instead I go for the eight tap. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love how it's just like, just hit a shot, just hit a shot. And the second, I feel like the second you have to tell yourself, like, just hit a shot, just hit a shot, you end up just whiffing, whiffing harder than an amateur trying to hit a major league fastball. Holy. All right. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to the dead letters we go. I love the presentation. The presentation is just so good. Like the eeriness and then just like the bold lettering. I know it's like not, it's not revolutionary to do that, but just the way they tie this all together is like each room is its own unique entity. And I love that. Oops, wait, can I mod? I love how they don't. Wait, I have, can I not? I can't equip it? Okay. I guess I can't, I guess I can't equip it. Somebody woke up. Oh, a big boy. So shields are strong. Give him the Kentucky three piece. Uh, uh. No, nope, missed shot, missed shot, missed shot. All right, I'm just gonna punch him. I'm telling you, it's always that pressure of like when they're low and you know you just gotta hit one more shot. Oh, those little blue things are health. Oh, and that's why I couldn't pick them up earlier, because I was full health. Can you hear the voice? Be like, you are whole. You are mighty. You are awesome. I think that's a good thing.
quick, 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 cleanse it. Cleanse the control point. Okay, so we definitely have to do a lot of cleansing from what it seems. And I assume that these pyramids, these things that are changing are morphing basically our world into its world, turning our reality into its reality. Um, I assume that's how it's like permeating all of this is by just taking its our reality as its own. But that is pure guess because I couldn't tell you. On to the communications department. On the right track. It's still so creepy watching everyone float. Okay. Uh, so we have fast travel. I swear to God, if anyone clogged any toilets. Seriously, every bathroom I find? That is a lot of blood. That is a lot of blood. I'm checking every every bathroom I run it. low to it. I assume we gotta go up and across. Bump 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 up. Okay. Do I run to it or I shoot it? Okay, I don't shoot it. Okay, I just gotta get to it. Go 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 go. Go 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 get it get it get it Is that a floppy disk drive? Are we going back to the to the eighties? The floppy disk nuke. The nuke to gain telekinesis. Teach us to believe, director. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. There are pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Hold right bumper to grab objects. And then let go to eat them. Okay. Oh, we have like limited power. Or like, you have like a power bar. Okay. <laughs> into the hole to advance. Okay. Yeah. Nah, you're done. Can I grab them? Because that would be cool. Oh, you can send it from downtown. Oh, you can step. Call me Steph Curry. You, you, you really can absolutely send it. The floppy disk is now bound. The hiss is seeking. Oh, I didn't read it fast enough. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Launch is effective against shields. Okay. I love how it's called a nuke. Oh! Oh, yeah. This is... This is... This is great. I feel like Magneto. Oh, my, oh my gosh. Josh, aim lower. Ow. That was rude. I love how everything, they're just like throwing everything. Seriously, like, throw what you want. Oh, fall damage? Okay. Where where are they? Where are they? Okay, there they are. 
Ow. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die because I'm a plop. I'm gonna die because I'm a plop. No, I'm not. <laughs> ah. There we go. Oh, yes. Give me all the little... Those little health rice grains. It's already telling me locked and I'm still trying it. Okay, so we made it through that. Love that for us. Oh, level two. Where is he? Where are you going, dude? Wait, why can't I want that gun? I don't think there's gonna be anyone in the shelter. Though I guess the shelters are just resources. Or like resource caches for lack of a better way to say it. Where do they go to the bathroom though? Oh. Good. If you clog the shelter bathroom, I think that might be grounds for termination. Emily said that the hotline and I can could be reached through the mail room. Depending on who you ask, you could, uh, termination could be used in many, in many different ways. All right, we're going to the mail room. But first, whenever I see documents, I gotta at least pick them up. There's so much intrigue and mystery. All right, into the mail room we go. But first, what's this? Oh, clearance level. This Heck yeah. Must open the door. Oh. Oh. Wh what happened to his uh, Oh my god. What <laughs> What happened to his face, dude? Do we want to go in the mail room? Take this guy out. Ow. Yo, Tomasi's kind of crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tomasi, you're, you're a spicy one. So, okay, so I'll have to figure out basically. I, I assume he'll only be able to be attacked when he's like loading up his hits, his, his abilities, because he can definitely, he was just like, Neo matrixing my bullets there for a bit. Wait. Where? Hold on. Okay. Oh, I'm at the dead letters. But I need to get to mail room. Okay, can't use that door. Wait, these are all like crazy, like glue sealed. Okay. We came out of there. So now we go all this way to the mail room. Okay. Not as far as I thought we were. For a second, I was like, this put us back at the beginning. Not beginning, beginning, but okay. Let's figure this out. We got this. Bring it on, Tommaso, Tomaso. They can fly now. Great. Okay, he takes some damage. I thought he was like dodging. Duck for that. Down. Ow! That was not. I did not think the. I didn't factor in the explosions hurting me. What is this guy? 
and there's no healing over time. Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is totally fine. That was my fault. I <laughs> I didn't factor in that I had a canister that would explode. Um, <laughs> and that canister certainly did explode. Whoopsies. I wish there was a way to be like, dude, just put me right next to the door. All right. This guy won't be bad. This guy will be easy this time. Easy, I say. Is there anything in this mail room? Yes. Resources. I'm not going to lie. These voices will never cease to be creepy. Just hearing all the murmurs and everything going on in the background. Ugh. All right, Tom, Tommaso. Does he have a crit box? Gonna use that for the ad and then just hopefully be able to light him up like this. Just cheese this a little bit. Get a little recharge. Yeah, we're just gonna cheese this. As he nearly kills me. I, there might have been more additional enemies that I didn't... Wait, pressing X switches between the two equipped service weapon forms. Do we have two service wep weapon forms? Um, that was my fault. I think, I think he ended up getting more enemies, and I think I got caught. Moral of the story is don't get hit by his projectiles, because those projectiles hurt. Excuse me. A little hiccup there. Alright, we got it this time. Third time's the charm. Or is this the fourth time? Four times the charm. Can fly now. Great. Yeah, one dodge. Yada yada yada. Recharge while he does that. Go away, buddy. Oh, nice. I got him on the. I got him on like the call out for it or the pull in for it. Alright, we got it this time. Just gonna let the ammo recharge. Shoots that. Wait for him to find a spot. Get the business. Recharge faster! Oh no. Okay, so you have to definitely make sure you got. that you're not like touching anything or have anything in the way of throwing. Where's this guy? Oh, Jesus. Woo! Alright, we got this. We got Tomasi. Tomasi. Oh, that... Is that his shirt that's helping him fly? I have All right. a feeling he'll be back. I have a feeling, too. Let's <laughs> stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. It's always their 
Why are they losing their jaws? That is so creepy. I for get I she just said it and I was too busy looking at that guy's mangled jaw. She said it's past the hotline chamber. Here we go. I love how they're like they're like it's an object of power, and then they have a legit sign for it. But like if you're looking for the hotline, <laughs> if you're looking for the crazy a crazy object of power, it's that way. <laughs> I know when that hotline bling. All right, take this down. The situation in right, Cuba has been Masi. evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> no oh my god, dude. Honestly, what are the odds that all the bad would show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Oh. Oh, so we have some foul play. Someone didn't know they were recording. Honestly, though, I feel like that happens Roberto a lot. Tomasi, head of comms. That, like, FBI and high yes, intelligent... Daughter. Uh, government agencies are like thank god that that didn't get out or thank god we were able to get ahead of that one because I can only imagine it's not just America it's every country I can only imagine the secrets that our nations hold the hotline can't be far now I mean we're in the <laughs> we're in the hotline chamber I, I I would hope that we're not far. <laughs> I would hope we're not far from the hotline chamber. If we're in the hotline chamber. The hotline chamber. I know when the hotline bling. The chamber only means one thing. Oh. They you used to call me on down the down red down. phone. Dream logic. The light switch cord. The door marked with the black pyramid. Is that it? Do I? Oh, it like didn't. No. Or was that intentional? I've a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. The Ocean View Motel. Oh, let's ring the bell. We need service. Did it? Am I tripping? Did something? Oh, it does open the doors. Oh, it opens multiple doors. All right, let's check all the doors then. I'll oh, just be like bodies. Okay, nothing behind the door number one. Just want to make sure no other doors are open before we do this. All right, next behind door number two. Nothing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous to find out what's behind the actual door. It's going to be scary. Okay, the key has key. a black pyramid on it. I wonder. Hear me out. I wonder if this is gonna be useful. <laughs> oh, just same music. New, new riff to it. All right, I assume this is gonna teleport us back into the room. Oh wait, so that's us across the bridge, 
I'm assuming in the past, because the bridge isn't there anymore, to that glass room. Can't hit that one again. Do we just keep hitting this? Okay. So there's definitely, uh, for whatever reason, you got to hit it multiple times. And now we are living out the photo, which makes me wonder on the paintings now. I'm, I kind of want to see if there's foreshadowing on like a lot of the paintings around the building. The Hotline Seashell is a transmitter bridge. Directors can call the board long distance. So don't allow that to happen. <laughs> the curiosity of me is like, am I supposed to let this happen? As she's like curled over, like, please make this stop. Please make this stop. Please make this stop. And I'm like, I think this is supposed to be what happens. <laughs> one of those kind of they'll allow you to contact <laughs> me and fall damage man doesn't matter the game doesn't matter what I do it is fall damage <laughs> I still don't quite know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Is this truly just like an object obstacle avoidance? Okay, I think I suck. We just gotta get to the ringing phone. Quick, quick, quick! Mom's gonna get mad that we missed the phone call! We expect weekly calls. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. The astral plane. And my plane. hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. All right, so we need the head of every department. Oh, oh, oh. I have it, the hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo, an echo with important info. I'll be curious to, to see. To Emily. I'll be curious to see how much he's going to be our friend or People react foe. strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. So 
So we definitely are playing a factor in the game in the sense of like obviously we're controlling our character, no pun intended, but the fact that we are very much part of it, being mentioned, being discussed, being hush-hushed, makes you wonder what factor we're playing into her abilities. From downtown! See damage fall off? I don't think there's damage fall off. Just damage. Maybe there's damage fall off. Oh. Imagine just getting blasted with a chair. Be pretty bad. Pretty awful. She's so strong, I love it. Um, can we get out this way? Yes. I feel like there's definitely gonna be elements of getting lost. Oh, nice. So not all control points are red and nasty and creepy. We can just do this. Heck yeah, okay, sweet. I also love that this entire game looks like it's, for the most part, uh, I, I assume we're gonna be traveling more in and out of the astral plane, but I really do enjoy that this is all taking place in the Federal Bureau, Federal Bureau of Control. And yeah, it just creates this like very unique and interesting environment. Okay, where is Emily? I assume she's in the boardroom. Okay. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? Chill, chill, chill. Sorry. Relax, relax. You made it. I'm glad. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. The hiss gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. Okay. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If... You no. Agree, that is. No. L no. We could find out something that would help us. Nah. Tests. I don't know. Yeah, we're not a lab rat. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. I'm actually kind of surprised she said that. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypass. I'm actually really, I'm actually need really to get surprised. These sectors that. open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. Do we tell her that Tomasi's a override? Do we tell him that Tomasi's a flying, like rock wielding demon thing, or are we just gonna like brush past? We're just, we're just gonna brush past that. Like, don't worry about that. The janitor. The janitor's definitely got something to do with this. Wait. There's no way the janitor's her brother. And she just doesn't recognize him, right? And that's why he's like off his rocker, because they like just treated him like a lab rat. I'll just there's so much mystery. What 
is that giant tank. So we're going to go ahead and call it there. That was part one of control. And oh my God, I have so many questions, but I, oh, I'm, I'm super into this. There's so much mystery, the object of power, the object of power, the objects of power are fascinating in what they represent as well that I am very intrigued. There's a ton of social commentary. I do believe this game came out before COVID, but the irony of being like, we survived one lockdown already was fun or like not fun nothing is fun about covid but i guess it's ironic and it's ironic and funny in an ironic way how often like games have released prior to covid that have like now kind of like alluded to lockdowns and things like that and i know it's a lockdown's a lockdown there's plenty of things to have a lockdown for but same with similar to Death Stranding. Like, it's just, there's these games that have these foreshadowing moments that the, I'm sure these creators made them being like, wouldn't it be an, a crazy premise? And then these crazy premises became our reality. So it's always f interesting and funny in, a, in, an, in an ironic way to see kind of how some of, this, some of this commentary prior to COVID is now very applicable post COVID. So if you enjoy the video, Please drop a like. Please drop a subscribe. I appreciate all the love. I'm loving this so much. And we are going to continue this playthrough of Control to hopefully inspire you to get into Control and spread spread your wings and try something different. That's my challenge for you in 2023. Go ahead and play a game that is different from what you're used to playing. Do a little Googling. Pull up the top, top games of 2022, top games in the past decade favorite best games of a genre that you've never played before and try out one of the best reviewed and best received games from that genre that way you can try something truly remarkable and see if it's for you because if a great game in a genre that you haven't played is great and you enjoy it then there are sure to be many other games within the genre that you enjoy as well but you don't want to start off with something where it's like oh i've never had sushi before you've got to try this gas station sushi that's the quickest way for someone to be like i hate sushi and i never want to have sushi again so definitely do a little research find a game in a genre that is well received that you've never played and i promise you you will open your horizons to new games that are not only fun but will just expand just expand your knowledge of games and see how many amazing games are truly out there and they don't have to be triple a i can't tell you how many amazing indie is just such a loose word right now but i can't tell you how many how many indie games out there are phenomenal truly phenomenal so go ahead and give it a look it doesn't have to be a 60 70 dollar game you can find some gems for 25 30 dollars or find a game that's on sale because it's been out for a couple of years but it is so well received that you can get it on discount like for example control right now uh for the next 10 days if you made it this far and you are clearly interested uh control for the next 10 days is $12 for the game and expansions, at least on Xbox. So for the next 10 days, you can get it 70% off. 70% um, off for a game that was nominated for Game of the Year and won many, 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 many awards. It feels like a no-brainer. Go ahead and check out a new game. Thank you so much again. This is Josh Robinson with Joyce the Gamer, and you know the drill. Stay gaming out there.